Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest will be wrestling at the Sky Dome in Toronto next Monday night as part of the international WWF Raw is War broadcast. Please welcome the sweet and sour homeboy from Toronto, Edge. <laughs> You're a big fella. How tall are you? Damn. Uh, six foot four. Six foot four. Wow. Six what do you four. weigh? Uh, 240. Between 235 and 240. Wow. That's Depends on what fella. I eat that week. Yeah, yeah. Big fella. Your parents big too? Uh, no. No? No, my mom's petite. She's five, well, she's 5'7", five but she's, uh, she's not large. Yeah. How about... Uh, I guess that is fairly big, isn't it? But 5'7 uh, is tall but, for but a she's, woman. But she's, uh, she walks a lot, so she stays in shape, oh, I guess. that's good. And yeah. your dad, not a big man? Uh, well, 6'5". Yeah, that's... <laughs> Contradicting myself. It's an yeah. inch taller than you, in case you keep track. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah, All right. yeah. You have uh, a very uh, soft spiritual appearance for a wrestler. You almost look really? like uh, my grandmother had a picture of Jesus over her dresser. <laughs> <laughs> and you have that. Uh, hey, you have that angelic, there, uh, there saintly could, look about you. There could be worse comparisons. No, it's true, and I yeah. certainly didn't yeah. want to offend you, and I hope I didn't. Well, you better not. No, I didn't. Okay. You're gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. I did. Okay. All right. All right. Now, uh, how did you get into wrestling? Hey, long story. I'll try and make it short. Um, I always loved wrestling growing up. I mean, I used to play with little action figures, and uh, when I was eight or nine years old... We called them dolls in my house, but go ahead. <laughs> well, see, I'm trying to be a little bit more manly than you, so... Um, now, now I, I used to... Uh, well, you can start by <laughs> shaving the uh, hair, Goldilocks. At least I uh, have some. might be a start for you. It, you see, at least I have some hair. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, 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 looks, that looks like a chia pet that's trying to yeah. grow, but Well, it just hair won't. comes from a lack of testosterone. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, I guess you just don't have enough. Yeah. 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 I'd rather use mine for what God intended it for, but go ahead. <laughs> See, no. I, have enough, I have enough left over. Look, you're starting to make me mad, right? <laughs> <laughs> On with the story. Yeah. We, don't, we don't want to make him mad, right? <laughs> um, so so, you, so for me, uh, the first time I saw wrestling, uh, they were like real-life superheroes for me. Right. And uh, I used to read comic books when I was younger, too. So I said to uh, my mom, I said, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I stuck with it when it was uncool. And uh, when I was 17 years old, the Toronto Star ran uh, a wrestling column every weekend. Um, and one weekend they said, if you've ever wanted to be a wrestler, write in. And Sully's Gym in Toronto, run by Sweet Daddy Seeky and Ron Hutchison. Uh, yeah, Sweet Daddy Seeky was big in the 60s. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a legend. Yeah, he's well, a legend. Yeah, he was great, um, great wrestler. He had the big blonde afro, you know. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, either way, they uh, called me up and they said, it's down to you and a few other guys. So I went down and they said, okay, you're the guy. We're going to train you. And, uh, you know, I was 17 years old, so it was uh, a blessing. And uh, I trained, trained for a year. I uh, had my first match after a year, and then I trained for another year. And, uh, you know, wrestled when I could, when oh. I got the opportunity. Right. Yeah. I heard uh, you're going to be on the cover of TV Guide? Yeah, a little, little, little tiny cover of TV Guide. Just a little thing, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh... Yeah. You see that? You want to see that? Yeah. Uh, that, that's out this week. Boy, I'm uh, sure glad you didn't bring your copy of War and Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Would have taken up the whole building. That's uh, beautiful. <laughs> WWF Raw, Canada's own edge, breaks his silence in an exclusive interview. <laughs> we had you first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not really that exclusive. Now, who's in town for uh, Raw is War? You name it. You got, you're going to have Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> thought that wouldn't listen to reaction. Uh, my, my good buddy, The Undertaker. Right. Uh, no, I didn't uh, catch a tone of sarcasm there. When you say good buddy, you're No, you're no, I, I, you no, no I, I hang with him, actually. Oh, you we're, hang with The Undertaker? Yeah, we're yeah. all uh, part of the Ministry of Darkness. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, Which boy, is... I bet that's got Jimmy Swaggart on the run. <laughs> I, I've heard he's a little upset, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ministry of Darkness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, who yeah. else? Uh, Degeneration X will be there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who else will be there? Um, you, you name it. Val Venus, the little Valbinski. He'll be there. I don't... Uh, I'm not a big fan of his. No, he's not very well endowed, actually. Oh, really? Oh, did I say that? Yeah. Whoops. Sorry, takes, Val. Uh, may I say it takes a brave man to admit you knew. 
Hey, we all... <laughs> yeah, I, I set you up for that one. <laughs> now, do wrestlers, now that we're on that note, do wrestlers get groupies? Do you have a lot of groupies uh, hanging around? Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it happens. I mean, I guess with any form of entertainment, it, it's that aspect of it will be there. Mm. Um, but uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> like you would know. Oh, I know. Mm. Believe me. Um, God. Mine all look like you. <laughs> that was a backhanded right. insult. Right. So okay. did you, uh, you get a lot of good-looking women after you? Ah, uh, well, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong, Edge, with admitting it. Do you have a um, lot of good-looking women? I, I, there, there's some, some good-looking women, and there's some women that don't have any teeth, and there's some women that, you know, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a broad spectrum. Um, but uh, I, I don't get involved. I just I go back to my hotel room, I sleep, I call my girlfriend, and, and that's pretty oh, much it. Oh, you got a steady gal? Steady gal. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, in the wrestling world? Is she in management or an agent? No, or? no, no. no so did you meet her? You didn't meet her through wrestling? Um, Roughly, yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, mm -hmm. She's the sister of uh, another one of the uh, the wrestlers. Oh, really? A WWF guy? Yeah. Oh, who's that? That would be uh, the the guy that I said wasn't very well endowed before. <laughs> that, that's why I can get away with it. Valvinus. <laughs> yeah, Valvinus. Yeah, sorry. Good. Now, what's been your worst injury? It's, uh, oh. Um, my guess is it'll happen tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what's been your what's been your worst injury so um, far well i mean i've been knocked out cold before in the ring there was one point i got dropped on my head in a little town and in, actually indian reservation in manitoba and for 30 seconds i couldn't move but i could see everything and the referee said are you okay are you okay and i couldn't answer wow. um and just laid there so that was really scary now, did you go on to win the match was actually yeah Really? Yeah. yeah. So you, you bounced uh, right well, back. You know, I, I shook it off and came yeah. to and killed probably now, thousands you, of brain cells. But... Was this before you got into the WWF? Yeah, yeah. This really? is when I was cutting my teeth and paying my dues. Wow. Yeah. Now you got scouted for the WWF. Somebody saw you and uh, yeah, signed you? it's a it's a long process though. Right. People think you just walk into the WWF. That's not the way it is. No, um, no. I mean, I I wrestled in Indian reservations and drove across frozen lakes in Manitoba and ate cans of tuna and slept on blue mats in the middle of nowhere and mm -hmm. drove across winter roads for 24 hours and. You were uh, trying to get somewhere. Trying to get somewhere. Trying to get, yeah, yeah. trying. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping. This wasn't um, in the hopes that you'd bump into a WWF guy hitchhiking. <laughs> no, this was, <laughs> I would hope he wouldn't yeah, be there. Okay. Um, it, no, just to gain experience. Cut right. my teeth, pay some dues, because right. everyone has to yeah. in one form or Let another. Let me ask you a question. Now, we've always hoped to get uh, Vince McMahon on here someday. But you, you, you see a lot of the older wrestlers, like older football players, older hockey players, they didn't get the big contracts. They didn't really make a lot of money, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are up against it today. Do you, do you guys make good coin? We're taken care of. Yeah? We definitely are. And with what we get uh, now, we've learned from our predecessors to uh, be smart with our money and invest right. it properly. Right. Um, because you do see some guys, you know, you'll meet them at uh, certain shows, they'll come to the shows, and they just weren't smart with their money. And uh, we all see that, and we say, hey, we aren't going to end up like that. But you negotiate your own contract. Yeah. You go in with, with an agent. I'm and, my own uh, agent. I'm my own. And it's an equitable deal, mm -hmm. depending upon how good your advisors are. You I'm, get a piece of the merchandising. Yes, yes. Oh, I uh, get a piece of that. Good. And good. Yeah. It's important to me that uh, I find out whether or not they're treating you well. Uh, okay. You're, you're looking out for me. Well, I'm looking out for you, yeah. <laughs> I kinda, actually, I, I, I'll be honest. I didn't like you at the beginning of the interview, but I like you now. <laughs> it's always best to patch things up at the end. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. I like it. Thanks a lot, Edge. Good Thank luck you. in the big rise. Look. <laughs> Curling expert and TSN reporter Marilyn Bodo up next. That was great, man. led Ontario's first women's curling team to world championships, which they won in both 1986 and 1996. Currently, she's an online reporter for TSN. Please welcome Marilyn Bodo. WWF Raw is War broadcast next Monday night on TSN. Check your local listings. You can check out Marilyn Bodo on the TSN website at www.tsn.ca. And look for Laser Current on Much Music's The Mix tomorrow night. And we're on the Comedy Network and CTV. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.
from Toronto's Kensington Market.